Happy Friday, everyone. It's January 7th, 2022. Today's video is going to focus a little bit more on the financing and interest rate side of real estate versus the purchase and listing side of real estate. A lot of you know that we are a full service real estate team, so we can help with the financing as well. In fact, we've actually funded one and a half million dollars worth of mortgages in just the past seven days. So we're very excited to be able to offer that service to our customers. And as such, we're also able to take that experience and that knowledge and use it to guide buyers into the best purchasing strategy and also guide sellers into the best listing strategy when you are making a purchase or sale transaction. But right now, while home prices continue to increase and buyer demand remains steady, there are some rapid changes occurring in the interest rate and mortgage side of real estate. So I want you to take a look real quick at this chart I have pulled up. You'll notice that there are two lines here. One line, this blue line, is the standard 30-year uh, conforming mortgage index. What this is telling us is this is showing us what rate did home buyers actually lock in and receive on a 30-year conventional loan over the past six months. And you can see if we go back to the lows of this time period, it was August 2nd, the average rate buyers were locking on a 30-year conforming loan was about 2.95. And if you look here over the past couple of weeks, really since December 29th, and even we started to see moving on December 20th, there's been a rapid increase, almost 0.25% increase in the interest rate. Whereas yesterday, home buyers were actually locking in 3.5% on average on a 30-year conforming loan. Now, if you have great credit and you're putting at least 20% down, you did a little bit better than that. So you may have been locking yesterday as low as 3.542 or 3.421%, I should say, for the most qualified borrowers. But nonetheless, you can see these movements affect all borrowers, even if you're looking at an FHA loan or even a VA loan, you can see all borrowers across all spectrums are feeling the pinch from the Fed, releasing minutes yesterday saying they are going to more aggressively raise interest rates, more aggressively taper their buying of mortgage-backed securities. This is going to send ripple effects through the bond markets and it's going to impact our mortgage rates. So what you're seeing here is the index across the entire country of what people are locking today what you should really be taking away is interest rates are sitting around 3.5% for the average borrower. One thing that's important about that is it's going to impact not only the home you can afford, but it's also going to impact the price you can sell your home for. So if we think back to when interest rates were 3%, which was not too long ago. In fact, if we pull up that chart real quick and we look and see how far back do we have to go to get to 3%, Really, we're looking back around August 2nd. So if you were thinking about purchasing a home on August 2nd for 3%, and let's say you could afford a monthly payment of $1,600, and that's what you were pre-qualified for, today, that same monthly payment of $1,600 is really only going to afford you about a $345,000 home, whereas back in August, that would have afforded you a $380,000 home. So there's a lot of erosion of buyer purchasing power when we see interest rates start to rise like this. And as a smaller number of buyers can afford to pay for your home, that puts pressure on your home price and is going to keep the home price more stable. It's going to slow down appreciation. Not only are we seeing that somebody who could afford a $380,000 home in August can only afford about a $345,000 home today. Something else that's interesting is there's been significant appreciation since August, somewhere around 1% to 2% a month. So if we think about what that $380,000 or $340,000 home was back in August, if we figure about 5% appreciation, that $340,000 home is really worth about three fifty-five dollars today. So really, that person who could have bought a home for three eighty dollars back in August might actually be looking at a home today priced around $320,000. So that's a significant erosion of buying power. It means that sellers are going to have to price their homes more aggressively today 
than they have been in the past. It means that sellers can't count on the continued rapid rate of appreciation that they've been counting on. And for buyers, it means there's more reason for you to act today, lock in a competitive low interest rate, lock in today's prices, continuing to wait could cost you exponentially more money. And if we go back to a little bit more of a historical view, I don't want to sound too many alarms. We're still at a fairly competitive rate today, three and a half percent. If we go back to pre-pandemic levels, January 10th, 2020, we were sitting at 3.8%. So we are still at a lower rate today than what we were at two years ago. However, today there's going to be a jobs report, ADP report that comes out. Depending on how strong that jobs report is, we could see these rates move another full one quarter of 1% in just the next 12 hours. So definitely pay attention. If you are thinking about getting into the real estate market this year, reach out to us. We can have a strategy call and talk about how you can best leverage these market conditions as a home buyer, a home seller, or a borrower. We're here to help. I appreciate you taking the time to watch today. I hope everybody has a great weekend and we'll be back next week with more real estate information for you. Take care.